What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope all you're having a great day so far today. Getting into this episode, of GH. Um, that scene with, with Lucky and Liz was cute. I ain't gonna lie. You know, it was cute seeing them together, hugging and stuff like that. Um, I'm not surprised that Lucky knew that Liz, um, create. You know, she did that sign for uh, Carly and Bobby's and stuff like that. I'm not surprised that he knew it was her. You know what I'm saying? I give Lucky credit. Like, that man's still jonesing for her. Like, he always gonna love her. She always gonna love him. You know, even though they're in different places in life. Um, My hope is that they can at least be cordial, which shows that they can be. Because, you know, if Liz didn't want to be cordial with that man, she'd be cussing him out right now. <laughs> but, um, I don't, I, I, I don't think I want to see them get back together. I don't. Not unless he's going to be around permanently. Like, if Lucky was going to be around permanently, then I might be cool with that. You know what I'm saying? But, mm -mm. I don't want to see her get her hopes up. You know what I'm saying? Start falling back in love with him. And then he told me, oh, I got to go back to Africa and that bullshit. I don't know. Mm -mm. Nope. Absolutely not. Because I feel like Liz is in a such different place in her life. No. And sometimes people outgrow folks. You know what I'm saying? Like... Mm, you need to leave people where they at sometime. You know, just be baby daddy, baby mama, and call it a day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. You ain't got to get married again. Hell to the no. Um, I get where she coming from about Aiden, though. I do. I get it. You know, like, I just feel like it wouldn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Even if Lucky made a big deal out of, like, oh, I was, you know, out in Africa helping people and stuff like that. Even if he made it a big deal, I feel like cool you did some good for people in another country that's cool but what about your obligation and responsibility to your son you know what i'm saying it's like you chose to help random people over your child over being there to help teach your son how to be a man you know what i'm saying that's the problem i have you know little phone calls here and there little facetime calls that you know that's that's okay but that's that's not being a dad you know what I'm saying? He needed to be there. So he better hope that Aiden is, you know, understanding and Aiden is, you know, cordial with him. He he better hope so. You know what I mean? Um, But I love how Elizabeth handled that, though. She was like, no, when he started asking her questions about Aiden, she was like, no, I'm not going to tell you nothing about Aiden. I'm going to let Aiden tell you about Aiden. I felt that in my spirit when she said that. I loved every second of when she said that because I totally agreed with her. I'm glad she ain't tell him nothing. He don't need to know nothing. But I'm happy for Liz, though. You know what I'm saying? Being head nurse, like, I'm still super happy for her. Because now she can make up her own hours and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad she got that promotion and that nice pay raise. Because um, Liz needed it, okay? She needed a damn break financially and stuff like that. Like, I know she's still not, you know, independently wealthy or nothing like that. But at least she making more money than she ever did as a surgical nurse, you know? Like, she making better coin. Good. I am super happy for her. And look at Jason getting along with all his baby mamas. I said, oh, shit. You know, Sam being nice to him. Liz giving him a hug. I said, okay, Jason, I see you back out the doghouse. All right. Um, I mean, he was never really there with Liz. I mean, Liz was upset when he came back and stuff like that. But Sam was way more pissed than... Liz, you know what I'm saying? So it was it was nice to see Sam turn a corner, you know, and tell him that he should keep being who he is, you know, because that's who Jason is. And I agree with her. That is, I don't know, I don't agree with him running off to different countries, you know, to be in danger. I don't agree with that, especially when you got kids now. You know, I don't agree with all that, but I do get where she's coming from. He's being who he is. You know, he should continue to be himself. Um it's sad watching Sam and Jason in these scenes and her and Dante in these scenes knowing that, you know, Sam's not going to be here for long. You know, that's sad because I wonder how she's going to go out because apparently it's not going to be through diving for that gun or whatever because Molly already covered that. So I wonder how they're going to take Sam out. Cause I feel like it's definitely going to be different not seeing Sam anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's going to be crazy. Um, as much as Sam used to work my nerves sometimes, <laughs> I'm going to miss the shit out of her. Um, but I felt like her scenes with Jason felt definitely like a goodbye. Her, you know, turning that corner with him and letting him know, like, you know, I was overreacting and all this, that, and the third. Because don't get me wrong. I felt like a lot of the stuff Sam was angry with him about, she had a right to be. 
know what I'm saying? Because this time around when he was gone, he could have came home and he chose to protect Carly. I feel like she had every fucking right to be mad about that. And she should never apologize for that. And I was super pissed when Sam was like, oh, I need I owe Carly an apology. The fuck you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Because <laughs> I love the way she laid in the Carly ass because what she said to Carly was spot on. You don't owe that lady no apology. No, you don't. Sam, don't you dare apologize to her. Now, do I feel like she should have confronted Carly? No, because I feel like that was a waste of time. And the person she should have been talking to was Jason. But I'm glad, you know, Jason apologized to her, too, you know, for leaving and not telling her beforehand and stuff like that. So they could, you know, talk to Danny together or whatever the case. Um, you know, I'm just glad that they had that moment together and whatnot. And she had her moment with Dante. Look at Dante bringing cookies to the staff and all that at the hospital. I thought that was cute. I said, OK, Dante, that was nice of him. That's why I'm pissed that Sam is leaving, because when they all had that moment together, like, did y'all see that? Lucky and Liz and Jason and Sam all standing in the same spot together. I said, damn. And to think they all slept with each other. Sam and, and Lucky don't slept together. Jason and Liz don't slept together. They over there playing musical beds and shit. Now they happily reunited, you know. But that was fun, though, to see the four of them together in one place, you know, after all these years. That was fun. That brought me back to old times. Um, I feel like if Sam would have stayed, it could have been some good story for all four of them, especially with the history that all of them have. That could have been amazing. That could have been good, but I can't wait to see the Lucky and Aiden scenes. Like, I cannot wait to see Lucky sit down and talk to Aiden because I feel like that's going to be a hell of a conversation. Um, I feel like they're going to act the fuck up in them scenes. And I mean that in a good way. Like, they're going to act down in that scene. I already know it. Um, and I'm here for it. But um, anyway, moving on from that. Portia. They're coming for you, girl. <laughs> they're coming for you. <laughs> they are coming for her ass. Because when Rick was talking to um Ava, Ava was like, oh, well, it sounded to me like basically... Somebody purposefully altered those results. I said, Portia, they are coming for you. I hope that you cover your tracks, girl, because they coming. <laughs> you in danger. <laughs> but something tell me she going to blame that shit on. Um, she going to blame it on. Um, what the freak is his name? I'm forgetting his name already. That's a shame. That um, I am like so forgetting his name so far. And that's sad. That goes to show where my mind is these days. Like, seriously. But I got a feeling she gonna do that shit, though. She gonna, she gonna pass it off. Um, I don't feel like she gonna... Um, oh, Brad. That's his face. Brad. I'm, I was about to call him Ben for a minute for some odd-ass reason. But I got a feeling she gonna, she gonna blame Brad for this. Because of his sketchy past and all that, it would be easy for her to pin it on him. Because people are automatically going to be like, oh, Brad did that again. He altered results because he's known for that now. You know what I'm saying? He got that stink on him because of what happened before. So he going to be fucked. You know what I'm saying? And that's trifling. But I, you, I ain't going to lie. I'm not mad at Portia for trying to keep Heather ass in prison. I'm not mad at that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at her for altering the results. I, I just wish that, you know, she covered her tracks better. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't. If she does frame Brad, I don't know how long that's gonna hold up. Cause she better do a good frame up job. I'm just saying. Because if not, if she does a half ass frame up, they're gonna catch her quick. Because you know it's like protocols and stuff. The lab, you know, you're gonna have to prove. You're gonna have to show who handled this and who did this. It's you know, and they a lot of times in the hospital they use ID badge numbers and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to type in your your codes and all this, that, and the third just to access results and do, you know, X, Y, and Z. So I hope she cover her tracks very well. Because co as co-chief of staff, she should be able to do it. Because I really don't want Portia to get caught for this. I don't. I don't want her to get caught because I really don't want this to stain her career. You know how hard black folk got to work to become a chief of staff or anything? <laughs> Is she about to piss it away? Like, ma'am, cover your tracks. If you're going to frame him, do it good now. Do it good. Um, but it was kind of funny watching her lay into him about his past and, you know, his ethics and all that. And I'm like, man, the shit that you just did, you cannot talk about his ethics. You cannot. You can't talk about him being unethical. Look at the mess you just did. I'm like, girl, Portia, you need to come on now because they coming for that ass. I'm just saying, like, 
do a good job now. Frame them up good now. I'm just saying. You know, don't leave no trace. Um, speaking of Heather, she was irritating my soul. Oh, I don't want my grandson thinking I'm a killer at heart and I was born to be a killer because you were. You were. You're nuts. Like, I have no sympathy for Heather Weber at all. I don't have none. And I know everybody else in that town done killed people and did they dirt. But I ain't got no sympathy for that nut. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to hear nothing about no poison and oh, the poison made me do it. That's that's like that Franco nonsense. The brain tumor made me do it. That shit pissed me off too. Like, no, we're not gonna blame this on no poison. And you you were a killer, you need to stay a killer, man. You need to stay what you are and what you know to be. Um I was I was irritated with Rick because I'm like, Rick, why are you entertaining her as a client? Why? Oh, she sounded remorseful. Rick, don't come on now, Rick. Rick, out of all the people you done played in that town, you should know. Don't tell me the player is getting played now. You know damn well she ain't no remorseful. She ain't nothing. She just a scandal. A scandalous mess. That's all she is. Like, don't let her don't let her pull the wool over your eyes, Rick. You too smart for this. Like, come on now. I ain't gonna lie though, I did enjoy seeing Rick and Ava in scenes together. Like, I feel like the two of them as a couple would tear that city the fuck up. They would tear that town up. It would probably make Sonny head fucking explode. <laughs> it would piss Sonny off something wicked. The two of them together? Could you imagine the trouble that they could cause in that town? Shit. I'd be here for it. Rick and Ava? I, sign me up. I'm just saying. Sign me up. Um, Alexis was annoying too. Sitting there going to tell her, oh, well, you need to run another test. Alexis, why are you giving her legal advice or telling her what to do next? Like, what is wrong with you, Alexis? You got your own problems. Um, Speaking of, I get where Molly coming from. I think Molly is just super frustrated with Alexis because she's tired of her covering for Christina, always being there to pick her up. You know what I'm saying? When she down. Because Molly was like, okay, so if you go to prison and Christina's a mess again or whatever and need to be, you know, need a shoulder to lean on or somebody to pick her up and, you know, help her and this, that, and the third... How you going to do that? She was like, oh, I was hoping you and Sam would. Alexis, you got me fucked up. Because no. Mm -mm. Now, she knew good and well Molly wasn't going to do that. And Sam about to be fish food. So, you already know. Like, ma'am, no. Because at this point, Christina going to keep making dastardly decisions. You know why? Because she sees everybody around her as a safety net. Her parents, her sisters, Jason, they're all safety nets. They're there to clean up mess. That's what they're there to do. And she know that. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy for her to make mistakes like get into a cult and all this, that, and the other. It's easy for her to do that. Go with a guy like Johnny Zakara and stuff and damn near get blown to smithereens. She could do all that because she already know people going to cover. People going to be there. Hit Claudia and, you know, have people protect her. She know that. She could do whatever she want. They're going to protect her. That's the problem. Because it's like enabling behavior at some point. It's like, stop doing that shit. Make her face some consequences. Even though she's not guilty of the Kate situation, but everything else is like, y'all need to start making that woman face some damn consequences now. She's an adult. You can't keep coddling. But I definitely agree with Alexis, and I believe Alexis when she said that if it was Molly in that situation, she would do it for her. Because I do believe that. That I agree with. I feel like if it was Molly or Sam that was in trouble, Alexis would definitely go to prison for them. She would do the same thing. She would sit behind bars for them to protect them. I, I have no doubt about that. Ain't no doubt in my bone about that. But I feel like Alexis ain't never going to have peace with Molly right now. It's going to be a while before that happens. Because Molly's not feeling Christina right now. So as long as she's not feeling her, it's always going to be some mess. You know, Alexis is always going to be in the middle. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. I'm happy for Trina. You know, that Trina's moving on. You know what I'm saying? Like, she finally decided to go back to school. You know what I'm saying? Get her education together and, you know, push forward with her goals. Um, I would love to see her run the, uh, the gallery while Ava deal with her legal mess. I would love to see her do it. Um... I think that would be fun, but I get it though. She need to cut her hours back because you know what? School is important. It's time for Trina to get back to who she is. You know what I'm saying? Like it's time, you know, her missing Spencer, loving Spencer. That's never going to go away, but she needs to, you know, start focusing back on her goals, you know, living for her again. 
Um, I definitely feel like as far as Ava getting out from under these charges, she can get out from under this. I definitely feel like Rick can get her off. Like, this is easy, fam. Like, he's faced harder cases than this. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it, it's crazy how, you know, even Heather Weber tries to sit there and compare her situation to other people's situation. Oh, if Alexis could get off, then I can't. Baby girl, that's a whole different case. That's a whole different circumstance. You know what I mean? But I definitely believe Ava could get off from this. I believe it. Because Rick is that good. He should be able to get that shit tossed. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. I'm happy for Marshall. You know that he about to go on tour, live out his dreams and stuff. Because I was starting to get a little irritated with him when he was talking about, nah, I'm not going to go. Sir, go. <laughs> you are getting up there in age. Go. You need to live out your dream. You know, I, I love the fact that he want to be there for his family. He still want to, you know, help Curtis run the club and stuff like that. But that club ain't going nowhere. It's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Curtis can manage. He's still got Nika there. So, she could run the thing. You know, she could run stuff. So, I feel like he definitely should go. And I'm glad that he is going to go. You know, he needs to. You know, he needs to live out his dream and, you know, live his best life. You know, while he still got a life. You know what I'm saying? Like, live your biggest life. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought and I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace.